fun times. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Uh, how are you guys doing today? We're, we're streaming a little bit earlier today than we typically uh, attempt to. Is there is there any audio here? Or am I just super... Oh, no, it's there. It's just really low. Hopefully it's it's okay on your guys' side. Uh, welcome to the stream today. Very excited today for what we're doing in The Witcher, uh, which I think I open like every Witcher video with that. Uh, so today we're actually jumping into a side quest. We're going to be doing the Deadly Plot... This is the side quest we picked up a few streams ago, uh, basically to kill uh, to kill the king, uh, Radovoid. Uh, the main reason we're taking on this side quest and doing this side quest is so that way we can go play Vernon Roche and, and Gwent and get his unique card. Kind of in the way of that. Uh, today we're also going to do the uh, Skellig style, uh, or Skellig, I don't know why I mispronounced it, uh, quest. Uh, I did end up doing his uh, Grimace's side quest in between, so we can now go get his card from him, as well as we'll, we'll win their card. I think there's like one more person we play for that. Uh, but that's the plan today. Deadly Plot, uh, Skellig style, maybe also picking up the Shock Therapy quest, because that is also another place to get a unique card. But we're going to play Witcher today for probably about an hour and a half, two-ish hours. Uh, nothing is in the way of Gwent, absolutely. Listen, I just in the way of getting those Gwent cards... Listen, I'm just here for Gwent. I'll I'll kill whoever I got to. I'll kill a king for some Gwent. Kill a king for some Gwent. Oh, we already won. We found him. Hmm, this sounds like the time when someone tries to kill someone else. Which, I mean, I guess that is what we're trying to do is kill someone else. Oh, solid. Some blow the wrong advice. Bloke's mate informed on him. Neighbor held a grudge against the one on the left. Accused him of witchcraft. Seems good enough reason to hang someone. That's not Radovid's fault. Hmm. Who do you think set down the laws that mean folk handle such offenses? All right. So why do you serve a king, you despise? So you'll just you'll just start a plot to kill him. Now that was a good king, wise and just. That is something else. He's got war on the brain, and I don't want Redania to look anything like that. All right, that's I mean that's fair. Let's talk. It's fair. Perfect. So we're going to look for a missing, uh, one of the missing people. I don't know, I think I have a pass? Yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure I've had a pass. I was like, this quest was is a level 14 quest, we're level 20. So we're, we're, we're a little bit late to getting to this quest. Let's just jump this boat and take the, uh, take the water up. Actually, never mind, there is... Can't take the water up, cause that's, uh... It's inland. I was thinking it was over here. All right, we'll uh, we'll grab Roach and and head up that way. So yeah, like I said, our main plan right now uh, before we jump into the main story stuff uh, and wrap that up because we are pretty close to, to the end of the main story stuff is finishing up all of this side stuff here so that way I can make sure I get all of my Gwent cards that I need go, go. <clears throat> for that quest. Uh, so probably, because I believe the high stakes tournament we can wait till after. I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain. Uh, but we'll most likely as soon as we. This wasn't that far. How could you not come look at this? Strange. Need to look around. Might find something. Uh, we'll probably get in finishing up the main story of this game in the next uh, next stream or two. No, sir. No, sir, Mr. Wolf, sir. 
All right, you're good, Roach. All the wolves have been dealt with. Well, there is a little bandit camp down there, it looks like. And let's, let me pick up this footprint. There we go. Oh, that's just a shoe. That's not a footprint. That's that's legit just a shoe. We're just left a shoe trail. It's just a shoe trail. Another one there. Another one there. There's one. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get into the main story stuff soon, because we're actually pretty decently done here. Hi, buddy. Hi, hi buddy, Rock Troll. Because we're, we're pretty close to the end of the game here, and then we'll have the DLC to jump into. Greetings. Away go with you, dog. You did pick me. <laughs> the shoes, he's picked me. I can see that. Just wondering how those shoes is wound up. Oh, yeah, the shoes. Yeah, that makes sense. The shoes grow. Shoes don't sprout from the ground. You see who left them behind here? Nah, I'm pretty sure they sprout from the ground. Speak no wrong. Oh, I'm against Ogden Pog. Ogden Pog? Sure. your friends? Fingering of great Ogden Human finder on uh, Big Shoes cart, Shoes Big Like. Uh, they're over there. Bony Man, Stringy Man's Blah. Frog and Pog and Rog Shoes make. Uh, Alright, farewell. I'm done with this conversation. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'm gonna assume it's like that right there. I'll assume it's this cave right here. Let me grab, grab some mushrooms. Alright, hello, shoemaker. Oh, okay, we're just having a nice little conversation over here. Hi, hello. Carol, didn't you just hear him? I mean, he's got, he's got, he's got a little meat on his bones. I still would like want to eat him. Ooh, gotta make them shoesies. Uh, hey, time's short. Like, step aside. Ooh, right into the rock. <clears throat> Listen, I don't want to kill you guys. Oh, oh, now there's oh the the one from outside came in too. I like that he just stepped back and is just like letting this happen. I, de I definitely probably a, a, a weapon other than a sword would probably do a lot more damage to the trolls. Like if I had some type of like hammer. Like honestly, maybe maybe even like an axe would be better. But definitely, definitely not a sword. Where are you? you oh, I thought he was fleeing. Geralt hits Rock Troll for zero damage. Perfect. Alright, Rock Trolly. Alright, we'll back up here a second. We'll back up here a second. 
Oh, I totally dodged that. Alright, sorry I killed your rock friends. Yeah, sorry I killed your friends. Hey, listen. They just did like we got we got stuff to do. Why are you walking so slow? Yeah, they they need your they need you to do something for them. I'm sure you'll I'm sure you'll be super pleased with the request. I I can only assume. Come on. Are we just are we just gonna walk at this speed the entire way? Can we travel by cutscene at least? Maybe we're only going like here. Hopefully we're only going like here. Nope, we're gonna keep walking. Solid. Solid. Love love this. I was I was hope I was hoping if maybe I just like talk to them it could they could skip it. What if I what if I just meditate for an hour? As it's like Skyrim rules. Well, so, nope. It's hoping for Skyrim rules where he would just like teleport to where we're escorting him to, and then I can just run to him. I have really no idea where we're escorting him to. Maybe just like here. This seems like a good place. Just like a little fork in the road. No, maybe back to his cart. No, oh, I did not mean to talk to you. I was... I'm out here trying to pick some stuff. Maybe we're just going to his cart. Hopefully. Yep, there we go. Cool. I'll be impressed. Yep, they'll be super impressed. Alright, what do you do now? Cool. Still probably trustworthy. Cool, cool, cool. Solid, solid, solid. Yeah, preferably not, because I need to get Vernon's. Uh, I need to get his card first. Cool, cool, cool. Was that, was that all of that quest? Was that like it? I'm sure it's this starts like another quest, right? Okay, I guess that was all of that quest. Solid. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, if we can quickly fast travel back to uh, to Roach. Probably though, when we go to travel back to try and talk to him, though, we'll probably get stuck in a, at, a, at another quest where they're like gonna go. They're gonna go, you know, kill people, probably. All right, win a card. Let's see. Oh, no, I think he went back to his hideout. Oh. Sweet, maybe we can just play him and Gwent. That'll be easy. That'll make this much easier. We might have time to do the jump into the shock pit therapy quest. Because I was saying earlier, we'll probably stream this for about an hour and a half-ish. Uh, and then we'll flip over and I think we'll play uh, on the Minecraft uh, Wizard SMP server for probably like an hour or so and then wrap up stream there. Hey Roche, uh, tomorrow though we're going to be playing Spyro. Uh, here for a round of Gwent. Oh, I've got a deck. Let's, let's play. Let's play. Alright, so I have gotten some new cards. I, I went around yesterday and I bought all the cards I needed to buy. So I've thrown them in here. I have three commanders sworn in here now. Uh, a decoy, two scorch cards, uh, one of each of the weather cards, and then all of our other cards that we did have. I think I've thrown in like some more spies, like that. We just talked to, to uh, Thaler. There we are. Now we have a card with him. <clears throat> all right. Ooh, got our scorch. I uh, got dandelion. These are some. These are some decent cards right here. Although with dandelion in tow, I was like, do we have any other? We have a couple. 
trying to see who I can drop. Are you my only... I think you're my only bowman. Yeah, we're gonna drop you. Mm, I'm gonna drop you. Ah, perfect. Pulled a, pulled a hero, which is much better. We'll start off, we'll give him the... This is a great spy right here. I'm just, I'm looking for those good spy cards that just give the opponent one, but I get two cards for it. Uh, I got a clear weather, which is eh. I got that. He's, oh, you're gonna... Oh, 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 he's gonna use it back on me. Very, very good, Roche. Very good. Uh, I'll just play, Ro I'll just play yourself against you real fast. You'll probably play me against me as well, but, you know, that's fine. Boom, boom. I don't know if I... Because when I set these guys down, I am going to have to set up Dandelion with them. Because if not, Dandelion's kind of useless. Uh, we do have that, so if we, we, we can Medic and use the Spy again if he ends up using the Spy on us, which I... He'll have to at some point. I think we'll set... We'll, we'll, we'll throw these guys up here. Per, pretty unlikely that he will use... Double the strength of all your siege units. Ooh. Hmm. Let's go ahead. I. Because he's doubled the strength, but he, he might be planning to drop a lot of stuff there. Let's go ahead and set these guys up with Dandelion. And then we'll siege that as well. Perfect. And then next turn, next round, I will use that guy back on you. I'll just throw him right back at you. Ballista. Alright. Then Dandelion will go there. Get those guys a little bit stronger. Perfect. We have a plus 10 lead right now. But we have two less cards. And he's quick. Oh, he immediately takes that lead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fog. Ooh, I can also scorch. I can also Scorch. Oh, perfect, he passed. Yeah, so we'll just Scorch. We'll just Scorch and take that win there. There we go. He's got two cards more than me, but I now have... I can. I will now immediately revive that Spy. Pull, we pull, pulled, a, pulled a Commander Sworn, that's very nice. Alright, we'll pull that Spy back. Put that in play. Give me two more cards. Not great cards. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Those uh, those weren't great cards. I am surprised to use Scorch so early on. Like, before I even set anything else up. I'll take it, though. Right, he's got his Vesemir as well. We now have the one card advantage, which is nice. Although, two of our cards here aren't really worth much as far as points go. We still haven't... No, we won a round, so we just need to win one more round. So I, 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 can, I can lose a round here as well. I can lose a round here. We'll Biting Frost, this right here. I think that's a good play to make here. He still has his four cards. He clears the weather. Hmm, that sucked. I may give him this round. I don't know what cards he has left. But I can also... I think I'll just... I'll Commander Sworn this, because I still have... I can still add 15 to my top here. I've, I Basically, I have 15 cards left. Or I have 15 points left. Uh, the thing is, is it worth it? So I don't know what he has left. He could have a hero card left, but his hero card could be more than 15, so I need to make him use it. So I'm going to clear weather to waste a turn, even though he could probably use something that might hurt me here, like Impenetrable Fog. Alright, uh, he only has one card left, so I'm going to go ahead and play her. Still winning by six, so he does have to play a card or lose. And he's just got a decoy. So he just plays this. Oh no, he plays the Spy... And he gets two more cards. Shoot. I gotta play it. I gotta play my hero, so that way I have the most amount of points. If not next turn, I might not. Because only having ten points. Ah, uh, that was good. That was a good play. 
And he scorches and he kills my 18. No, he didn't scorch. Why didn't it scorch? That was... I don't know why it didn't scorch, but alright, I'll take the victory. Thanks for the card, bud. Oh, Lambert. Oh, want to become famous? No, I want to become banned? Because I can, I can just ban you. I can ban you, like, real easy. Oh, wow, man. That's how easy it was to ban. Not the only acquaintance you can challenge. But Tyler's a king of gap there and has a sharp death. Uh, oh, he's in the area? Oh, shoot. Man, he's going to go try and kill a king before I have time to play him in cards? That's pretty sad. Oop, wait, other way. This way. This is the way to run here. Alright, so let's go see if we can win a card from him. That's where he is, okay. So he's still at the end. So we might be able to actually win this card from him before he runs off. Also, like, I don't, why, are you, why are people out here trying to, like, posting and like you want to become famous but go to this website and buy some followers that's not how you become it's not how you become famous buying followers is not the way to go because those aren't real people so it doesn't matter I was like where is he there he is hey bud I was like do you want to talk to me or no hey game of gwent No, I'm in the mood for a round. Right. Let's play. Just remember. I'm taking a test now. Nah, you're good. You're good, Emerson. <clears throat> bum, bum. This is a game where I can easily tab over and uh, ban, pe ban people. Alright, drop fog. Uh, I, hadn't, I didn't really get anything great here. Got a commander's horn, got scorched, but I didn't really get any hero cards, which I was kind of hoping for. Uh, oh, and Dandelion kind of sucks because he doesn't have. I have no one for him to. Uh, okay, we might lose this first hand. We might lose this first hand here. I am also probably gonna Panical Fog here, so I'm gonna try and stay away from putting these guys down and just have him waste up this turn, basically. Ah, oh, please place him there. Thank you for placing him there. Alright, make those guys a tiny bit, a tiny bit stronger. Uh, doubles the strength of all your... Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Double the strength of those ranged combat units. Penetrable fog them. Back to nothing. Let's see what they do with their turn. Oh, they clear the weather. Hmm. was definitely hoping that wasn't the route they were going to go. Now I could Scorch and just take away 10. They would still be winning though. Hmm. Okay, I didn't get a great hand. I didn't get a great hand. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna Commander's Horn. I think I'm gonna Commander's Horn. They, he probably at least has a hero card. Yeah, he has Triss. <clears throat> Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's Scorch as well. I'm sorry, what? Do I not understand how the Scorch card works? Kills the strongest cards on the battlefield. I don't understand how, how the Scorch card works. I don't, I don't understand how Scorch works, it seems. Seems I don't understand how Scorch works. So that's fun. That's fun not knowing how the Scorch card works. It's real stupid is what it is. Oh, he's got Geralt. Geralt of... Geralt of the old Rivia. I can't win. No, I, I literally can't win. Yeah, I was like, there, I... 
I don't have the ability to win that game. What you, whatever it I really screwed up there. I, I could have sworn Scorch only worked on the opposite team. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to fog, get rid of you, because I can just pull you at will. Alright, we got a spy card. Perfect. We got a second spy card. That'd be real hot. No. I'm going to drop... Fighting Frost. Not great, but I'll take it. Ah, maybe he'll just play some cards there and Binding Frost will be worth it. Ooh, got another Spy. Ooh, I'm gonna play, uh, play him against him. That's what I love to do. Perfect. Pulled an actual Hero card for once. Double all the strength of your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did that last time. That's fine. I can, I can, uh... Words. Oh, okay. What a play. I don't have a clear weather, so... What a play. What a play. What a play. What a play. So now I have to think here. Do I want to... I probably want to put the fog down as, like, the goal here. Because that seems the most likely... Thing he's gonna that he's gonna build up there considering he commander swarmed it. So I'll play that. I'll play I'll play some close combat units here. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and pass. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and pass here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my leader card. To just make this a little easier. Alright, I just need to win I just need five points, so I'll just play you and I'll take this first round. I still have it up by two cards, but one of them's Abiding Frost. Although I no longer have any close combat units that matter, so that should be fine. Start off with my hero card. He's also going to play his Geralt. Good old Geralty. Geralty of Rivia. Mm, I was really hoping he was going to set that up on the front and build up some close combat so I can bite and frost that. Because that would make me real happy if I could. Ooh, and this is a medic too. He's probably going to send that spy back to me. No, is that not a medic? No, it's a morale boost. It adds plus one to... Okay, gotcha. I thought it was a medic. It's a morale boost though. It's literally what this card is. Ooh, gotta pull in some cards. Oh, perfect. Glad that I have my Biting Frost here. He only has two cards left, too. Oh, this is perfect. We Yeah, we totally win. There's no way we lose this at this point. Even if we don't win this hand. Ah, oh, I cleared the weather. Good on you. Good on you. I think I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass, buddy. Do you wanna do you wanna play your last card? No, he doesn't. Doesn't wanna play his last card. Let him go first. His last card is impenetrable fog. It's actually a solid card, dude. Considering all I have left are ranged ranged uh cards. There we go, I win by eight. That way I at least don't look as bad for only winning by four. There we go. Victory! Yep. Okay, about Lambert. Cool. That might be our last one in the in the old pals. Oh, we just got Geralt! Heck yes. Heck yes. I didn't mean to press quest. I definitely didn't want to go into my quest. I want to open my Gwent deck. We just got Geralt of Rivia. Absolutely add that to our deck. I don't know what we won from Vernon. Maybe her? Because I don't recognize her. I'm not sure who we her who we won from him. I really honestly truly haven't looked at most of these other decks. Uh, because I 
don't often... I Really, the only deck I, I tend to use uh, is the... Uh, like, I never used the monster deck. I've only used the Northern Realms deck this entire time. Alright. Let's head to wherever Lambert is. Here. But it has it has him like that. When you get a chance, win a unique card from Lambert. Uh, Witcher 3, Lambert. Uh, Gwent card. When do, I, when do I get to win a card from him? Uh, the quest could be by talking about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Lambert is only available for a short time during a side quest following the thread where you'll meet him. Following the thread where you'll meet him or later at Karamoran. Once you've beaten, you'll receive the card. The Oh, that's where we get the Triss card. Uh, the last and legendary Geralt of Rivia card. And this quest... Oh, yeah, I get that from that. Yeah, but I want to know... Lambert is last one. Okay, so it's at Karamoran. So it's whenever we get there in main story stuff, we just have to remember to go there. So perfect. So we're done with that quest for now. Wonderful. All right. So now we can. So basically, we've we've done we've done this quest. There's no. Well, no, no, no. There's a fourth person in that. And that website I just had pulled up. There was a there was a fourth person. A fourth card, but I only have one two. Who's the fourth person? Oh, Zoltan, which we, we won his card already, so he's just not part of the quest, so he's the fourth person there. Okay, so let's go Skellig Skyle, and let's go win these cards. And then after that, we if we if we have time, which we should, because we've only been alive for about half an hour. Uh, where's this guy at? He's right there. Uh, we'll go pick up the Shock Therapy quest, which is another quest to get a card. And then the only cards we won't have is the Lambert card, and then the cards from the uh, from the Gwent tournament, which will be which we tr we tried to take on that tournament the other day and failed absolutely miserably, absolutely miserably. I don't know if I want to if I want to attempt it again just yet. <clears throat> I probably, I just, I think, I have some better cards now than I did did then, because I have went and bought all of the cards that you can buy. What do you want? Uh, let's play Gwent. Gwent. Never play the game. The question is what the answer is. <laughs> the answer is no? The answer is simple. No. My dude, you're afraid you're going to lose? Afraid of losing. I understand. Very well. There we go. Ooh, I'll, he'll give me his best card. Your opponent will go first. That's fine. Alright, Scorch, Biting Frost, Clear Weather. We got a Spy, we got Yin, we got Vernon. That's pretty good, that's pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna drop Biting Frost. I'm gonna drop you. Alright, not too great here, not too great. Probably should have just kept Biting Frost. Uh, and I, I gotta be start smart with my. Oh, we pulled a Geralt. Ah, oh, wonderful. Ah, uh, the mysterious elf. The only ca I don't have that card yet. I really want that card. I really want that card. Uh, hmm. What is the play here? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep things low for now, so that way he can play some higher cards. No, he's going to decoy and throw the spy right back at me. Rude. Very, very rude. I want to stay low so that way I can scorch a card. That's fine. I'll use Yin to bring that spy back next turn. Or I could scorch it and bring it back right now, but I, I feel like that's a bit of a waste. Just a bit. Uh, let's put Vernon out there. Let's put Vernon out there. Get ourselves a bit of a lead here, cause we're up by we're up by twenty one. He might just pass. Yeah, he just decoyed his cards. He might pass here, so I am going to go ahead and pass. I'm gonna go ahead and pass here. Yeah, 
I was like, because if not, he's going to have to use a lot of cards here to get back on top. Alright, we did pull that side. Alright, we're going to go ahead and use Yen. And we're going to throw the Spy right back over to him. He's used two decoy cards, so I can't imagine he has another decoy. We got a Commander Swarm. I was really hoping for Thal to pull Thaler so I could get even two more cards. Uh, Heroes can't be Scorched, right? Uh, Witcher 3, Gwent. Can hero cards uh, be scorched? I don't think they can. Uh, hero cards are strong. Look, I need you to. I need you to stop. I need you to stop so I can read, please. all of these pop-up books on this website and I'm like I'm just trying to read about the hero cards uh... not affected by special cards or abilities that that means no scorch right? that means no scorch right? so I can scorch out both of his cards right now there we go because they're both fives and can lead me leave me in the lead ooh although that's a good one too but he would have had twenty there instead of only having that which I think is much nicer uh, I think we could set up our, our siege units back here, because we still have a clear weather in case he decides to throw something like that at me. And I still have, Geralt is my, is my ace in the hole. Because I think, I, I'm fine letting him take this round if I need to, but he still has eight cards. Who is he going to heal the spy? Of course he is. Of course he's going to pull that spy back. I think I'm gonna commander sworn this back row here. That's fine with me. That is totally fine with me. Anyway, commander sworn. Give him another turn. Which I think we still have our. Yeah, I still have my my leader card, so I'm gonna clear weather. To get that back, and then I'm gonna drop because I'm now up to 52. Ah, uh, you got a yin as well. I don't think you have any more spies though. Yeah, no more spies. He's still only at 43, and now I'm gonna take him down to 32. No, 34. I can math. Clear weather. That's fine. And I think I'm gonna pass and let him. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. And let him spend a couple cards to build up here. See what he's gonna do here. Oh, perfect. Yep, that'll 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 do it there. Cool. But he, I still have one more card than him. And I have Geralt. I have Geralt to kick things off with a fifteen. Ah, perfect. One of his is a two. Ah, truly wonderful. Geralt, Geralt of Rivia. I don't think he wins this, unless he has something amazing in there. Biting Frost doesn't matter. You know what, I'll go ahead and throw her in there too, just for fun. In case he has a Scorch, it'll kill his own person. No, he just passes. Why would you pass? Why would you pass? You've lost. You have lost. Cool, victory. Oh yeah? Perfect, thanks. Thank you for your card. Oh, we got the Mysterious Elf! Oh, look at him, he's so mysterious. Honestly, I think it's one of the best cards. Because it's a spy, but it's also a hero card. So it gives them plus zero, but then they can't use it back against you. Like how we constantly throw spies back and forth at one another. Uh, because, like, we'll decoy them, heal them, or anything, and it's just... Mm, so good. So good. Alright, before we go take on Madman, we're gonna go take on this guy. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce his name, because I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna very poorly say it. I don't wanna poorly say it. <clears throat> I 
There are also, I think there's some cards that we still need to win from certain merchants. Just from challenging people, but I'm not sure. I wish the, like, the quest for winning Gwent cards, like, told me how many I have. Versus how many I need. But I feel like that'd be a, I'm asking for a bit too much there. You? You? Yeah, you. Uh, paying their specs, yeah. Ah, oh, you're a tailor. Perfect, I don't care. Uh, do you want to play Gwent, though? Let's play. <clears throat> All the Gwent in the world. Your opponent will go first. Perfect. Alright. Got Dijkstra. Got Siri. Ah, oh, perfect. Uh, Dandelion. I have Dandelion. I have, I have a couple, I have a couple of close combats, but only like two. Do I have any siege units? I have one siege unit, so I'm going to drop you for a clear weather. No. Perfect. Pulled Vernon. I was hoping to pull the steer yourself. We have no spies. No, we have one spy. We have one spy. Ah, oh, perfect. We'll just use the spy he, I, he just used on me back on him. Maybe we'll pull the steer yourself. No. No, we won't. We sure won't. I was like, I just I just want to use the mysterious elf. Alright, I think we'll set these guys up here since he's already put uh, Dijkstra there. Just so we can uh, dandelion it. Bum, 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 bum. And we maybe take this first round here. He's going to have a very similar deck to me because he's using the Northern Realms. <gasps> But some of his cards, he won't have, like, Danny. Oh, he's gonna Scorch. Sad. So sad, so sad, so sad. Right, well, Danny line that, double that up. Winning by 14. Ooh, but you're pulling in Siri. I could throw Siri right back at him. I could legit throw Siri right back at him and be like, oh yeah? But I think I will instead throw Vernon at him. Keep my cards high, so he has to keep playing cards. Solid play, solid play. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of his five that he has there. <clears throat> just to make him play another card here. No, he's going to go ahead and pass. And I can just win it with a siege unit, right? Yeah, I'll just win it with a siege unit. And leave us five to five, or five cards to five cards. But I still have uh, Cirilla, as well as uh, the King there. Alright, so we'll start things off small. Start things off small. Don't want to jump into it too quickly, you know. You know. But I have no way of deferring cards now, but he will run out of cards before I do. But I have no, like, leader ability card that I can pull. But I think unless he's got something fun hidden in there, I think we've won this. I'm gonna hold on to Siri for now. Because I can't imagine he has anything big tucked away. And even if he does, we still still should be able to pull off a win here. See, this is the stuff where you sh where people should like just you should just pass and just let him take it. He only has one card left. I'm winning. He has to play his one card to win. And if it does win, he's out of cards. No, it's just a two. I was like, but he's out of cards and I have a 15 here to take it away. 43 to your 22. Easy wins here. Easy wins. Thank you for the victory. Thank you, good sir. And now we'll go take on Madman Lugus, which should finish off the Skellig style. And if this is an easy... This is an easy win... We'll go try and pick up this Shock Therapy quest, which is a quest where you get another Gwent card from it. Where's this guy at? Oh, I've never been down here? How sad! How sad that I've never been here. I'll just travel there. Travel there and ride Roach there. I don't know how I've never been over there. I also don't think I've ever been to the place that... Uh, let me just check real fast. I don't think I've been to... Uh, 
where, yeah, I haven't been over here yet. This is the next quest place. We have to go something with an H fall. So we'll have to end up uh, taking a boat from the uh, east side of Skellig. Should be fine. We'll probably do that uh, next Witcher stream. We will probably uh, head up there and actually do some main story stuff. A concept, I know. It's, it's, it's amazing that we do main story. And actually, that'll probably start up our rush to the end. We'll just mainly take on main story stuff. Because after today, after... After this, we have all of our cards that we can currently get. Stench. There aren't going to be any that we can potentially miss. So we're just going to go straight to the end, really. And then once we finish the main quest, we have the two DLCs to take on, which I think will be a lot of fun. I've never played the DLCs, uh, so I know nothing about them. I'll be going into those completely blind. Uh, but I know that they canonically take place after the main storyline is over. So that'll be fun to see that as well. Bum, bum. And we'll... It's probably not next stream. Next stream we'll do main story, and then the stream after that... We'll probably be ready to take on the high stakes Gwent tournament. Probably. I can only assume at that point we'd be ready. Because our deck is pretty good, and we've been winning a lot of hands today. I'm still on the normal difficulty. We've won a lot of easy card games today. So I think we just have a decent deck now. Hi there, friends. Okay. Well, maybe don't yell. Maybe don't yell just because I ride in town on a horse. That seems a bit over the top. I know people hate witchers, but come now. I'm just like, no, I'm just here to, I'm just here to play Madman. Although the way this is area is setting up, I feel like there's absolutely going to be a quest before I can play him in guards. Mm, see, I don't like this. Okay, I was like, is it going to start a cutscene as soon as I open this gate? No, so far so good. This isn't where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go. Hi there, madman. Would you like to play a game of cards? Go see your friend Croc if you want to talk. I want to play you in cards. Hey, Gwent, care to play? Gwent, know the game. <laughs> he just yells at me like, "Get out of here!" I'm like, "Hey, but what if we played Gwent?" Perfect. <clears throat> Let's play. Show me what you got. What you really, really got. <clears throat> Alright, he's got a monster's deck. Alright, cool. So I want a Biting Frost. Absolutely want a Biting Frost. I'm going to get rid of this Clear Weather, though. And this Torrential Rain as well. Mm. Didn't get a good pull there. We do have Yennefer, though, so if he does use a Spy on us, we'll have that. But I was like, I want my Biting Frost to, uh, so that way I can murder him there. I'm going to go ahead and use a Hero card. I'm going to start off with a Hero card. Try and entice him to use his, the monsters that call, yep. To use his musters. Perfect, I'll let him build those up for a turn, turn or two. Still winning, hopefully make him use another muster, cause that muster's, there we go, that's what I wanna see right there. Ah, perfect, cause I love that it also pulls from his hand. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and use this, cause we've used our siege card here. Just get ready to fighting Frost it. Maybe he'll pass. Yeah, he'll go ahead and pass. He'll go ahead and pass. We'll go ahead and Biting Frost. We might just win just from the Biting Frost. We sure will. Take the first round. We only have we're only up by one card. Only up by one card. Ooh, we pull a spy. Very beautiful. Give me the mysterious elf. Oh, got him! The call worked! The call worked. Also, before I use my Mysterious Self, I'm just going to go ahead and Scorch real fast. I'm just going to go ahead and kill his, his double eight that he had. I was like, before he plays something that's higher than that, I just want to kill this double eight that he has. Hey, take this Mysterious Elf. 
Oh, we got we pulled Siri and Geralt. Oh my gosh, what a play! What a what a solid play. What do I have in my in my discard? Uh, honestly, nothing. These guys aren't really worth pulling with with Yin. Uh, wow. That was a solid. That was a solid takeoff there. I'll actually pull the other siege unit there. He only has he only has two cards left. I absolutely decimated him here. My gosh. I'm sorry. You had two impenetrable fogs. Why didn't you trade those out, my dude? I'm so sorry for just, like, utterly destroying you like I am right now. Scorch, that's fine. That's fine. You you think you think that's going to give you a chance? I still got five cards, my dude. <laughs> two of which are 15s. I'm going to go ahead and put Siri in there as well. My gosh. Well, I was like, why? Because I hadn't used my leader card yet. I was like, why isn't it just auto-passing? There we go. What a play. Oh, I absolutely love the sawed off. Thank you. Thank you for the permission, too. I assume it's a monster card. Uh, yeah, it's the it's a vampire. That's really what we got here. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. What do I have? It. I have too many. I have too many. It's like you never, you never need freaking three weather cards. No, no need for it. Honestly. Cool. Alright, so, that finished up the Skellig, uh, Skellig car, uh, card collection. Got that sweet vampire card. Sweet vampire card. And I think we got another card as well. Just said there before our Nilfgaard deck. Was it a leader card? Yeah, we did. It was a leader card. So we've now picked, because I bought one of these, but I just got the other one. Cool, sweet. So, uh, the other thing that we have pulled up here before we go for that, since we can't do this right now, we can't do high stakes right now, there is the shock therapy quest. Uh, it's a Skellig quest, and the reason for it is because you get a Gwent card for completing the quest. Okay, so head to Gwyneth and at a cave to the west, uh, you'll find a druid calling you over. Talk to him and he'll tell you if one of the druids he, he suddenly has gone mute and needs your help to cure him. He'll then suggest using scare tactics to irritate him to do so, provided no harm comes to him. Solid. Uh, Alright, this quest is... I think it's that quest right here. Oh, is it? Yeah, that, that's the quest. Cool, that's the quest right there. And there's actually a fun little walkthrough here that tells you the... what to do here. Alright, you can... Okay, cool. Just pop that right there. There we go. Alright, let's run up here and pick up this quest. This actually is a, looks like it's a very short quest. Hello, Druid. Heard you call me. Uh, this was we had, we actually saw this quest when we finished up the Skellig stuff with the King. Uh, for a Gwent card, I'll pay you. Give you an excellent. All right, what am I supposed to do? Scary, take him whatever you wish. Just use the you know, Hollowed Oak. Poor man, he's probably ready for a cure. Okay, cool. Track quest. Let's go visit him. Hi there, Mr. Druid. Maybe he'll say something if I put out his fire. Tin pots. Stand to make a lot of noise. 
All right, so what does it say here? This says if he's, okay, yeah, if he's sleeping, use art on the pots. No, oh, I won't, oh, can I, I think I might have to check one more thing first. Disturb a hornet's nest nearby. Nope. I keep trying to scare the druid until he recovers his voice. If he's praying on the rock ledge... Alright, what's he gonna do next? Oh! Oh, look at that middle finger going! Alright, if he goes to pray, use art on the hornet's nest. There we go, and if the fire is lit and he's warming himself, go up to it and extinguish it. Uh, we're gonna get another one here, we're gonna get another finger. Ah, uh, there it is. It's a solid finger there, mate. Thank you for that. I like that, like, hey, I'm just gonna extinguish your fire is a scare tactic. Oh no, he walked away. No, I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I didn't want to. I wanted to... Extinguish. Oh, your valve silence. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. And that was enough to piss him off? Yeah, because I'm going to get a Gwent card for it. Uh, sorry, I was tricked. Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me, I thought. <laughs> Perfect. Alright. <laughs> that was fun. It's fun for me. I enjoyed it. Is he in here now? Yeah. Thank you for my reward. Uh, never, uh, cool. Yeah, that's funny. Ha 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 ha. Hey, we got the card I wanted. That's, that's all I was here for was to get that card. Sweet. So I think there, I like I said, I think there might still be a few more Gwent cards that we need to just play random merchants to get. But I'm honestly not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure there, because it, it doesn't, it doesn't tell us how this is going. Just, it just doesn't, it doesn't inform me at all. Which I suppose would be a bit too easy if it did. Uh, but I think this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up our Witcher portion of the stream. And we're going to switch over and play a little Minecraft on the Wizard uh, SMP server real f uh, for a little bit. Uh, but the next time we stream Witcher, which probably won't be tomorrow uh, but the day after that we're going to uh, finally go meet uh, Yennefer on Hendersfjall uh, and actually continue the main quest which is uh, pretty exciting if you ask me. So if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the Witcher stream. Hang out on Twitch. Hang out. We're not done just yet. But YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching uh, and I will see you waiting for my there we go. In the next one.